Hello YouTube, it's Colorful Gamers here, and today I'm going to show you how to uh, get Mod Loader 1.4.2 onto Minecraft 1.4.2. So first of all, you want to make sure you have Minecraft on the desktop, and then you can go to Terminal. Open up Terminal, then copy and paste the following stuff that will be in the description. So, I have it in a file right here. Copy and paste in your terminal. And then, yeah, once that's done, okay, wait, sure, I'm gonna make sure. You might wanna do it twice, just to make sure. After that, just X out and go to your browser and open up both of the links that are in the description. First you want to download the Anarchiver for Mac uh, because the uh, like the normal Anarchiver won't work for this thing. It's virus free, 100% virus free. Then you want to download, yeah just download this and then then you want to download Ribasami's 1.4.2 Minecraft Mod Loader and just scroll down and mod loader 1.4.2 so you might want to just download adfly to help the maker so he'll get money for doing this stuff but if you don't download from adfly then he might stop because he doesn't get money so down i'm just going to download direct to shorten the video yep so i'm downloading it okay then you open it with the art archiver okay Yep, then it unarchives it, and then it shows up in your downloads. Open, look. Actually, no, it's it'll show up in your downloads file. Yep, and it'll be mod loader. Oops, I downloaded it twice. Whatever. Well, you have it in there. Then you want to, well, ex actually minimize the window. I'm gonna close it because I have them. Um, like saved. So then you want to open up Finder and look up library and the first one. Then go to application support, then go to Minecraft, and then you want to go to bin minecraft.jar and then open with the unarchiver. Oops and then it will make it into a folder and delete the minecraft.jar yeah delete it and then rename this minecraft.jar this is actually absolutely essential because otherwise this will not work then press enter then add Okay, once that's done, open up the folder and press kind in the top right. Delete meta inf, move it to trash. Then open up mod loader folder and copy and paste everything, well copy everything out of there and drag it into your minecraft.jar folder. So yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Yep. And then apply to all just read that and well actually don't have to read it just apply to all and replace um then once that's done you want to move the file to trash and <clears throat> just oh do that and open up minecraft then these three there will three more files will appear into your minecraft folder Let's see uh mod loader text mod loader dot text and then mods folder so that means it's successfully been installed and so now you want to well actually i'm gonna go back and demonstrate it with uh, let's just take one of his mods that mod loader 
So let's just go to mod loader on yeah, then first link. Whoops, I'm using Safari. Whatever. So then you take let's just take no not these. Let's just take biospheres. Yeah, it's a pretty cool mod. There's a whole list of mods there. Download it. The only bad thing about mod loader is that you don't have to download all of them into your file. So after that, you just have to take everything out of there and open up and then copy and paste all of that into the minecraft.jar folder. And you shouldn't have to replace anything because those are new. And then just delete that and you should be done. I'm going to demonstrate what the Biospheres mod does because it's pretty cool. So just log in and then wait for Mojang single player. I already have the world, but I'm just going to create a new one. Creative. There will be a Biosphere world type. Then Bose chest on. And then you just wait for it to load. Okay, then you should. Oh, uh, what the heck? Okay, whatever. I fell through the world. So now when you respawn, you should. Yeah, respawn on top of so, oh, I respond on top of it, so I just go down. And yeah, I'm on top of a bunch of trees. Well, this is a really cool mod because it's like a bunch of glass domes, and there are bridges leading to other glass domes, and some of them even have mine shafts like that one. So, yeah, this is a pretty cool mod, and please like, comment, and and subscribe. Thank you.